Hey everyone, it's Lauren. Today I'm going to show you how to bookmark and annotate items in Digo. So before you get started, please be sure that you've created a Digo account. You can find the link in our Canvas group. Um, if you have any questions about how you can get into Digo or how to get started with Digo, please let me and Vanessa know. So let's get started. So you can see that I have Google open. This is because Digo has a Google Chrome extension. So before we can add that extension, we need to sign into Google. So if you have a blogger or a Gmail account, you can use that username and password. If you do not have a Google account, then you can easily create one. So you'll see right here, I'm prompted with the sign in. Since I already have an account, it recognizes it. Hopefully my password is correct. So you'll see that I'm now logged in to Google because my profile photo shows up. If you do not have a Google profile photo, you'll see, I think it's the first initial of your first or last name. So now that we're signed into Google Chrome, we want to add our extension. So you'll see here that, oops, you will see that I have Googled Digo Web Collector, which is what we need to get to add our Chrome extension. So you'll choose this first option here. And you will see that there's the option to remove from Chrome. I don't want to do that. You will have the option to add to Chrome. So once you've gone through that process of adding the extension to Chrome, you'll actually see the icon right up here. If it doesn't appear, then just try refreshing your browser. All right. So now I am in our Digo group and I can see that some of you are already starting to bookmark items. So I wanna show you first how to bookmark an item when you are ready to add it to our group. So I found an article from the Pew Research Center that actually discusses Twitter use by Americans. And I wanted to share it to the group because it does address lurking behaviors, which we discussed last week. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my Digo icon and select Save Bookmark. So the next item that we can add is the description. And descriptions can vary based on who's adding them. So typically, you'll find that they are a brief summary of the article. So I will say this article discusses how Americans use Twitter and relates to our week three discussion about our body. So I've added this article discusses how Americans use Twitter and relates to our week three discussion about working. Oops, I use discusses a lot. My bad. But anyway, we'll move on because this is just for teaching purposes. So the next thing we're going to do is we are actually going to use tags. So unlike Twitter or Instagram, you actually do not use the hashtag symbol in Digo. So you simply just type in the tags. So if your tag is more than one word, you want to make sure that it is in quotations. So for example, I already have social media here, but let's just say it's not, and I'm going to add it back. So when you have two words or more, make sure that they are in quotes. And then Digo will actually auto-populate some text for you. So I've got about 2.0 and I've got Twitter. So I'll add those as tags as well. The next section is add to an outliner. And this feature is actually if you want to create an outline of your different resources. So we don't necessarily use that too much uh, collaboratively, so that's something you can explore on your own if you'd like to. But the next thing we need to make sure we do is we want to share it to our group. I have a lot of groups in here because I teach Digo to the EME 2040 students. But if I scroll all the way down, I'll find our class. If, you're, if the class doesn't pop up right away, just click on this refresh symbol and hopefully it'll show up. If you have trouble, just let me or Vanessa know. So there it is. And then I want to uncheck private and click save. So when I go back into our group, I'm going to click the refresh button. 
there it is. It shows up first. Now, if you need to edit this at any point, you can do so. So what you can actually do is you can just click on the article and you will see that there's a red ribbon on it, which notes that it has been bookmarked in Digo. And click on my Digo icon, click Edit Bookmark, and then let's say I want to edit part of the description. You'll see that I can do that. I can add another tag if I want to, so I want to add engagement. You just want to double check to make sure that it is shared to the group. Private is unchecked, and you click Save. So when I go back to the group, I hit Refresh, you'll see that my edit is there, that I have added engagement. So you guys can actually do things like like my article, you can comment on my article, so lots of ways to uh, get involved on Deco. So in addition to bookmarking, we can also annotate. So many of you might annotate by highlighting, adding post-its, making notes and margins. So Deco actually lets us annotate collaboratively. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on the article that you'd like to annotate. So let's just annotate this one. And then we're gonna click the Deco icon and click on read and annotate. So yours might pop up with a very brief tutorial type of thing, description of what annotating is. You can either annotate this way, I prefer to actually use the article. So let's say I want to highlight something important for you guys to see. So I'm going to highlight most US adult Twitter users don't engage much. So I'd highlight any way that I would on a typical uh, electronic resource. But when I actually release, I can get the highlighter. So I can choose my highlight color. If I wanna change it, I just hover over it and then I can change it to blue. I can change it to orange if I want to, or yellow, I guess it shows up for you guys. So this is how you highlight in Digo. So the other thing that you can do in addition to highlighting is you can add sticky notes. So you actually have to have something highlighted to add a sticky note. You can't just haphazardly add sticky notes anywhere. So if I want to add a sticky note to where I've highlighted, I just hover over my highlight and then you'll actually see this option that says add sticky note. So the first thing that you will notice is that there is a, a private little note on my sticky note. You wanna make sure that your sticky note is shared to the group. So you click on this little group icon, and you find our group, and then you can add a sticky note. So sticky notes can be anything from summarizing what the actual article is saying at that point. It can be uh, pointing out interesting items or maybe getting a conversation going within your group. So I'll say most Twitter users, workers, what do you all think about? So when I click post, you'll notice that if you were to actually click on it, you could see where there's a space for you to comment. I'm not going to do that right now, so I can click cancel. And so when I actually look back at the article, you'll see a little icon with some people on it. And if I hover over it, I can actually see my sticky note. And if I go back into Digo, refresh on our group page, you can see exactly where I highlighted. So you'll see the yellow highlight as well as the sticky note that I created. So that is essentially how you bookmark and annotate in Digo. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or Vanessa and we would be happy to help you out.